Welcome back. Vodafone Ideas double digit up move is a great time to shine the spotlight on the entire Aditya Birla Group stock where we've seen a lot of transformation, a lot of steps taken by the promoters to revitalize and grow the company in the next grow their companies in the next decade. Nimesh is here. Nimesh Hi, Rima. So, as rightly pointed out, the group has been in the news and for the right reason, right? And, and the entire group is buzzing in trade today. But just first on the news part, today, uh, if you look at Vodafone ID today, that's up 11 odd percent, largely because the group has managed to raise 18,000 crores in the FPO. And the good news was that uh, for that FPO of 18,000 crores, they got a demand of over 1 lakh crores. So that was a kind of you know interest which was there for Vodafone idea. And actually, that had a bit of a rub off on the entire group stocks as well. But from a news perspective, over the weekend, there were a couple of other news as well. One, Altatech made an announcement that they're buying out a small unit from India Cement for 300 crores, and they're going for an expansion in that in, 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 uh, uh, in an organic way as well. So that is one news. And second was uh, the vertical demerger, which the board approved uh, for the Mundra, life, uh, uh, Mundra life, uh, lifestyle businesses into a separate entity. They've announced the businesses as well, which will be part of that group, and what kind of debt which will be shifted uh, within the both of groups. So, that was the key trigger for uh, for that stock to do well. So I'll start with uh, uh, you know Vodafone idea first. Stock is up 11 odd percent. Big overhang is out of the way. You know a couple of uh, weeks back there were doubts on whether they'll be able to raise money. Now they've raised and and in a in a, in a big way there, there was a very strong demand from both HNIs as well as large investors. Now the focus will be on you know what what will the money be used for. Uh, in fact uh, there is a there is an expectation of capex as well as 5G expansion. So that will be a big trigger for the stock. And of course, post elections, uh, whether there will be tariff hikes. So that's something a lot of investors will be watching out for Vodafone idea. That had a bit of a rubber on uh, Indus Tower as well. And, and additionally, there was a CLSA upgrade as well. So these two stocks got covered today. Apart from that, AB Fashion is up 10 odd percent. Now, to, uh, over the weekend, uh, or yesterday, there was a call on AB Fashion as well on, uh, on what the road ahead would be for both the, both the companies. They've announced the vertical demerger. Uh, how much you know debt will be transferred to each of the businesses and you know the the call was very clearly mentioned that uh, both the, the the whole rationale of the demerger was to make sure that both these businesses take their own course of a uh, course of growth and and focus on individual businesses so that's gone down very well well uh, as far as ab fashion is concerned so that's the second stock which was buzzing in trade the third name is ab capital even that is up 7 odd percent and on good and a large volumes as well you know, uh, interestingly, just uh, beginning of the month, there was a big note from Macquarie on AB Capital. They have initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating, and they had a target price of 230. Now they believe that uh, you know it's a uh, it's a it's a big diversified next big diversified NBFC uh, from that group, and and they're going to largely benefit because of the funding access that the group enjoys and the kind of you know rates at which they can raise money. So that's that's the reason why you've seen a big traction. Uh, in uh, in AB Capital as well in today in today's market. So that's the third name. The fourth name is uh, Grasim. Historically, it's been a it's been a holding company, so to speak. But they also have a standalone business. In fact, uh, you know, recently they made an announcement that they are going to focus on uh, one of the businesses, the B2 uh, B2 B2 B2B businesses, B2B e-com business, and that they have a big target in terms of revenues as well in that business going forward. If you just look at the sh the, the holding structure of Grasim. As I said, you know, it's a kind of a holding company because other businesses have done well. Even Grassim benefits from that. So they own 57% in Ultradeck. That's that that brings the biggest SOTP for Grassim. They own close to 52% in AB Capital, 10% uh, in AB Fashion, close to 6% in Vodafone Idea, and close to 4% in Hindalco as well. So that's the reason why even Grassim is buzzing in trade today. It reflects because of uh, other group stocks doing well. Also, their standalone business is expected to do well. Plus. They've announced the launch of the paints business as well within Grassim. So across the group, there has been a big traction today. All the stocks are buzzing. But that's largely because Vodafone Idea, which has been the biggest pain point for the group, that has successfully raised 18,000 crores via FPO. All right, and Nimesh has been spotting this for us for uh, a month, more than a month now. Uh, so Nimesh, uh, thanks very much. And uh, uh, I mean, you know, it's been a fantastic kind of turn that we've seen across the group, as you've said. Jigar Mistri is with us. <coughs>